got another emulator device and this is a Super Console X3 Plus and it boasts to have 114,000 plus games. Holy cow. Um, you know, these devices are far from perfect, but here this one is and might be an option for some people. It doubles as, you know, a TV device. You can watch your various shows as well as it is Android 9.0. So, uh, you know, it has multi-functions, comes with the remote, and you just your basic things to hook it up, an extra SD card for the Android uh, device functions. I'm focusing on the games that it comes with and there's no need to download. You can add and remove games as well. Here are the controllers that comes with. The controllers are just fair. They're okay, but you can add your uh, controller of choice as it has many ports. Here are the, uh, the machines that it emulates over 60, and there's gonna be several games that you remember growing up with on here. Various platforms and computers. Uh, some of the computers, you have to have a keyboard and mouse attached to this device, which is not included. Um, obscure stuff like supervision. Um, really a wide range of things. You know, I've covered a couple other devices on my channel as I was curious they just seem like they're getting more and more games on these small tiny devices retro games of yesteryear it is uh, you know far from perfect as I mentioned before but there's a lot done right um, some not so great and I'm going to talk a little bit about both and show you kind of how things run there's lots of different options on these uh, devices where you can tweak them and filter screen filters, aspect ratio, save states, and multiple different emulators. So your mileage and experience may be different. This does come with a fan. The big thing with this device is it comes with a fan and it supposedly cools it down. Um, I ran mine for several hours, no problem. So these are the different consoles and the various amounts of games that are on them. And here we go. It's nice to see the 32X on here as even though the library was really small, there was a few good games on this Sega Genesis add-on. You know, I have a lot of happy memories playing Virtua Fighter. And you know, this might be device for people that are just done with collecting. You know, things are so expensive these days that this might be an option or might be an option for people to check out gameplay to, to purchase the physical item. Here's PSP, and this is the Soul Calibur game, and it's running pretty good, almost almost 60 frames, and a steady 60 frames, and you know, as you can see here, it's running pretty good. As you know, I know there's a lot of fans of the PlayStation Portable, and this has several games on it. And you know, being a big Soul Calibur fan, uh, you know, this might be one to check out. Now, this also has lots of Sega CD and Mega CD. Here's an expensive one, a good example of why you may want to check this out. Because, you know, there's lots of these games are so expensive to get the physical edition. You know, this might be an option if you have the physical edition, maybe just to play it this way or to check it out. You know, emulation is free. Um, there's lots of people that can build your own emulation box. This is already done for you. 3DO, Star Control 2, uh, one of my favorite games on the 3DO as it is fantastic. So many happy memories of playing this. Played lots of Super Melee and you know the different alien races. Great campaign story as well. And if you haven't checked this out, this is one that you may want to pursue and play as it's one of the best kind of classic science fiction RPGs. Now, Gex on the Sega Saturn, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> emulation of the Saturn can vary from game to game. Uh, there's a few other notable games on here. There is Bomberman, but you know, I just thought it shows something different. And you know, the, these emulation boxes, uh, you know, uh, are not gonna be for everybody. Some people are gonna have some issues with them. I, I completely understand that, you know. I'm just showing this, hey, this is what it, it does. This is what it offers. 
and you know the last video I did had lots of viewers saying that they were done with collecting or this is they're looking for an all-in-one box and that's why I'm showing it so uh, this is Sega Dreamcast it's not running perfectly uh, you know it's it's more of a higher end system for these emulation boxes but it's running okay and there's different emulators on this as you can swap and in different games are going to run better on different emulators here is one of the thousands of arcade games on here badlands and i wanted to show the scan lines as it's pretty cool there's different uh, screen options aspect ratio you name it and you know this is the one that's kind of forgotten about this is a fun arcade game uh definitely one to go back and play as i thought it ran well and looked pretty decent so that might not be your thing, but there's tons of arcade games. Here is uh, a, an arcade port to the Atari 7800. This is kind of a, a more uncommon Atari 7800 game. This is Rampage, pretty awesome. All three characters uh, you can choose from, from the arcade. Um, I like this one. I did a many ports of Rampage video long ago and showed all the different ports. And so uh, this is pretty cool to check this out. You know, as it has lots of 7800 games, and, you know, this is a game that's probably not going to come to the Atari VCS due to licensing issues. So, here is another weird one. This is Golden Axe on the Wonderswan Color. And I don't have a lot of experience checking out this port. So, this was a, a, a new one for me, checking this out and going back and playing this. It's pretty awesome. I did a pretty good job with this. Very colorful, and uh, it represents Golden Axe pretty well. And so definitely one I need to go back and check out more at some time. But this is a good example of what you can do with this emulation box. As you can check out lots of different things that are expensive or obscure to see whether or not you like them. This is Fire and Ice. And this is an Amiga game. I don't have a lot of experience with this one either. But it seemed like a pretty cool uh, platformer. And one I know that people uh, have talked about and remember. Tons of Amiga games on here, thousands, as you know, uh, there were so many games for that classic computer. Now, let's talk about PlayStation. There was an issue with PlayStation. None of the games that I experienced had sound. I don't know, I, I tried several. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's an emulator issue or not, or whatnot, but um, the, the games ran great. They just didn't have any music. So uh, just know that that uh, the PlayStation games that I experienced didn't have music, so I don't know what that's about. If that's a, a feature I need to click a button somewhere, but didn't hear any sound. Also has uh, Odyssey 2 games on here. Casey Munchkin, you know, uh, I'm a big Odyssey 2 fan, and that's a fairly obscure console that competed back in the day with uh, consoles such as Intellivision and Atari 2600. But, you know, if you haven't checked this out, uh, you know, the Odyssey 2 offered some great classic games and they're on here and they play great. So it might be an inexpensive option for people that want to go that route to check out obscure consoles such as this. And then you have PC Engine and TurboGrafx-16 as well as CD games on here. You know, even the aftermarket mini console of the TurboGrafx-16 is so expensive. And it's unfortunate because, you know, that, that great console had so many games that a lot of people didn't check out. You know, this, this wasn't a big seller back in the day. Over in Japan it was, but in the United States it was by far third place. Also, lots of portable games on here. Thousands of Game Boy Advance games. I thought I'd show this one. I can't believe how well this runs. This is Gauntlet, the arcade version on the Game Boy Advance. And it plays great, looks great. This might be a way to go. Uh, I didn't have a lot of experience checking out this port, and I'm glad I did. As you know, it, it looks awesome. It has kind of a semi-zoomed in look, but it looks great. Now, let's talk about Nintendo 64. Now, Nintendo 64 is a lot like the Sega Saturn. It's hard to emulate, and different games, you're gonna get different mileage on how it looks. This is one emulator and this is uh, there's definitely some glitching out going on I, I could have hit some different options and maybe make this run more optimal but that's it this is just a small example of the thousands of games that are offered on this if, 
if you're curious and want more information, there will be a link below. You can also find this at various other places on Amazon as well. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Thank you for coming to my channel. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.